Two band forming machines or swagging machines purely operate on a cold process. Hence, they consume less power, making them highly suitable for industries for mass production of swaged parts. Rotary swaging, also known as radial swaging, is often a cold working process used to reduce tube diameter, produce a tapered end, or to add a point to a round workpiece. This type of swaging machine uses two, three or four dies that hammer up to 2000 a minute. Dies are mounted on the machine spindle, located inside a cage containing rollers, which is rotated by a motor. As the spindle spins inside the rotary swaging machine, the dies push out to ride the cage by centrifugal force. When the dies cross the rollers, they push the dies together due to their large size. Like tube swaging, rotary swaging can also create internal shapes inside the tube through the use of a mandrel, as long as the shape has a constant cross-section. Common applications for swaging machines include attaching fittings to cables or pipes, pipe flaring, sawmilling, firearms and ammunition, rubber components, automotive components, aerospace applications, agricultural machinery, measurement and adjustment systems, medical devices, optics, tool construction, welding and brazing devices, jewelry manufacture, metal joining and fixtures, and more. Swaging machines may also be used for other, unlisted forming applications. Two hammer swaging machines mainly used for light materials. When the material gets stronger more powerful three and four hammer swaging machines are used to produce parts. In the image shown here, you see the common parts of a swaging machine. These parts are dies, hammer or anvil, housing, outer race, roller, rotor or spindle, and cage. The next image shows the spindle. The third image shows the cage and rollers. The final image shows dies and a part produced by these dies. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.